So another Q episode for this series and what makes this Q is the whole vice versa. So um a couple episodes ago we see Ichika, you know, meet um meet Yamada's parents. But we see this time it's kind of the opposite where Yamada is the one um you no know, getting to meet Ichika's parents and See, and today, out of all the days, was a, like kind of a special day because it was also Ichika's birthday. And I think what made it even cuter for that one was that when they're singing Ichika's happy birthday, and then there's this moment of silence, like um, to turn back the lights on, and then Yamada in his in each gazir very like whispering like happy birthday kyo and we just see each guy's reaction and i thought that was pretty cute for them and especially you know towards the end of the episode too was very cute so uh yamada you know yamada and each guy they're talking at night yamada falls asleep and we see each guy you know leaning to give her a kiss on the cheek or on the lips but we see him, you know, he stopped himself midway. Um, and then, you know, he covers Yamada and then walks away. And then it was kind of, it was after we see Ichika leave, Yam- we t- turn back to Yamada and she has this, it's, it, w- it turns out, you know, she was awake the whole time and seemed like she was waiting for Ichika to kiss her. Um, it seemed like she was kind of anticipating that. So it does make you wonder like what would have happened if Ichika did um, did go through with the kiss. Like would uh, Yamada, you know, continue to play sleep or would she like wake up in that instance and, um, you know, have like a, I don't know, a moment with Ichika, I guess. Um, we'll never know, but I think her reaction to it was pretty cute, um, and yeah, um, but another kind of scene I do want to talk about was the, um, towards the beginning of the episode, so, this guy, I forgot his name, but this guy, you know, he does give this, like, now we're, I feel like in the beginning we kind of focus more on um, our side character's romance. So we see this guy, I forgot his name, but this guy, you know, it seemed like he gave, he gave this girl that gave him a chocolate on Valentine's Day. And, you know, even though he was forced by his mom, um, he still like, you know, um, told the interface like, oh, that told me chocolate was delicious, thank you, and I think he laughed after that, but for that moment, we saw her, like, kind of blush, um, it makes me, like, kind of wonder, like, maybe in future episodes, like, there'll be something with those two, like, maybe, like, those two will become an object or a thing, um, you know, when they, um, obviously for, um, next year's school year, um, so that's another, another thing I did want to bring up is that we're, this, it seems like the show, I know just this, it seems like the show, and the good thing is that it's not only, um, focused on, you know, our main character, romance, obviously, but what I like about this series is that it not only focuses on, you might uh, honor main character romance, but it also is showing you know the the romance um, b- between our you know side characters, and we see that, and you know I just think it's you know <coughs> more realistic, um, like you know instead of the show focusing on one romance, it does. You know, it shows us a bunch of other um, potential romances, like Ichika and Yamada's friends, 
and the whole thing that's going on around them. So I think that's that was that was pretty cool. Um pretty cool thing that they did. You know, not focused on the main character but you know they also kind of show um the romance of these side characters so I think that's pretty cool. Overall I think this episode was pretty cool in total i mean we did get that moment where ichika you know met or yamada meet ichika's parents and his sister um you know bathes in his house even goes in this house and you no know, sleeps over at his house um so i think that's that was pretty cute um also it's pretty cute that you know he, we see ichika you know he he tries to give her a good night kiss, but you know, as a gentleman, maybe it crossed his mind like, oh, it wouldn't feel right to steal my first kiss from this unconscious woman, Yamada. Because Yamada was sleeping, so he probably backed off and said, no, if I'm gonna have a first kiss, I might as well do it right. So I'll probably wait until Yamada's, um, you know, conscious or awake, and then I'll, you know, kiss her. But one thing I did want to mention before I end this video, one thing that, you know, I just thought of was in the beginning of the beginning where we see Ichika and Yamada play, you know, Ichika, we see him, he goes for a layup, I guess, or something, or shot. And in that moment, he says, you know, at the basket, goes in I'll confess and then we see the ball like it's just, just going around the rim and then as we see it about to fall Yamada comes up from behind or not behind but comes up and then you know gives Ishika kind of an assist and then the ball goes in so I wonder maybe next episode we'll get you know Ishika's confession because Ishika himself said like if this basketball goes in I'm gonna confess and even though it was kind of an assist from Yamara I still feel like he should there's like a chance that he might confess after this because um the fact is that the ball did indeed go in the basket like he wanted to so I do wonder how that whole thing is gonna work itself out. But um, overall, yeah, I think this was a pretty cool show. And honestly, it gets me more excited just to see a few jobs of like how cute can it get? And there's this anticipation element of like who will end up with who? Because we know Yamada and Ichika are gonna end up together because they're, you know, the main characters, and they, you know, openly show, you know, they like each other. But what I'm more interested in is, you know, the side characters, like, just to see who will end up with who, and who likes who. So, I kind of enjoyed seeing that part, you know, the side character romance, and how that whole thing, you know, is going. But, um, yeah, overall, really liked this episode, and I hope you guys liked it too, but... I think I'm just going to end it here. Please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.